Great. Awesome. Hey, for all you docs out there, this is Dr. Josh Wagner. I'm interviewing Dr. Ed Osborne, the chiropractic philanthropist. If you haven't seen him or known about him over the past, ooh, what has it been? Eight months to a year since you came out? About eight months since you came eight out? Eight months, nine months, yeah. With the chiropractic philanthropist, I was uh, glad to be a participant, one of the first interviews. Uh, it's made a difference for me. I've listened to many of his podcasts and he's just doing great things in the profession. And now what he's doing is showing chiropractors how to do their own podcasts instead of for the profession to grow your practice. So what I'm going to do is interview Dr. Ed here, find out the nuts and bolts of his TCP podcast program and the program he's offering to doctors to get more exposure in your community network and be able to do this on your own so you can see growth in your practice. That's the bottom line, helping more people, getting the message out there, positioning yourself as an authority. And I'm just as interested too, because I've talked to some of the doctors who are in the program. I haven't done his program. I don't podcast myself, but from what I know about it, I understand the value of it. And that's why I'm sharing this with you and having this interview. So Dr. Ed, just quick, in introduce yourself, whatever I didn't hit on that's important. Yeah, I mean, um, I, basically I started a podcast with the chiropractic philanthropist about nine months ago, and I put it together actually in four weeks. And when I actually even launched my podcast, it was, um, you know, I think I had maybe about 25 recorded interviews ready to go. So this is something that, and I had no broadcast experience ever before. And it was just something that I kind of felt really a pull to do uh, to, to kind of, because I, I don't know, maybe this resonates with docs, is that I was really frustrated and I was I was in a sense almost struggling and I found that, you know, there were, I've tried everything. Has anyone ever been that way? You know, like, Hey man, I tried the dinner workshops. I tried the, you know, the, the screenings. I've done all of that. And I just found that it was really challenging. So we're getting a little bit of a feedback. Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep, keep rolling. You know how I, I can't fix that. Um, but so share with the docs, you started it with, you had 25 interviews before you launched it. Uh, give for those who maybe don't know you haven't followed you like what are the results because I know it's pretty massive right now yeah we have yeah, we have a massive, a massive following. following about um, um, 20, 20 uh, or a hundred hundred thousand down and down doctors. Doctors. And, and, and about, and about 90, 90 uh, uh, chiropractors, chiropractors are actually on the TCP on the podcast, podcast training, training now too, now too. okay and describe um, like before you get into what the TCP podcast training is, just for those of you, uh, the listeners who may be a little tech unsavvy like me, just straight up, what's a podcast? <laughs> for those that don't okay. know. Okay. So, um, uh, actually, uh, Josh, can you mute your mic for one sec? If that cuts the reverb out. There we go. I think, yeah, there we go. So you'll probably just have to come in and out on that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Anyway, so the, uh, the, what podcasting is, is basically you can actually put your podcast, so your audio, your voice, onto iTunes and Stitcher. And what we know is that there's 700 million subscribers on iTunes and Stitcher. So you can really affect not just and, and get your message out there to the world, your unique message of chiropractic, but we actually have learned how to make it very local and focus it on funneling people into your office as well. And building expert authority by establishing or putting yourself next to people who are already established experts in your community. And that's essentially how it's done. I mean, so what I've created is basically done what I do. I, I've, what I've learned, I teach other doctors to do on a local basis so that they can grow their practice and boost their profits. Cool. And, and that's important to say that, you know, a doc starts doing this podcast, investing some time and energy into it. And it's not just people across the country that may be listening who can't benefit from his resources. And of course, it's beneficial for any person to know more about chiropractic and find that, that as a solution for them. But you'll be able to help them target it so more people in their community will know about them. So they can actually go in the office, not just get educated. Absolutely, but Absolutely, it's a it's a huge it's a educational, huge educational tool. tool, and it's a huge self branding tool. tool. Because if you look at you, you know how marketing how is actually going, going, 
Marketing is all about, especially in healthcare, it's all about self-branding. Look at Dr. Oz, look at Christiana Northrup, look at Mercola. I mean, they've all self-branded and positioned themselves as experts. Look at Josh Wagner. <laughs> He's done the same thing. But but that's really what it's about. That's really what it's about. And, and, and we can do this on a local basis. On a local basis. Okay. And you, I think you mentioned you have about 90 docs right now going through or have already gone through your program. Yeah. You know what? I'm going yeah, to go to a screen go to share for you just for one sec. Sure. One sec here. And, and while you're doing that, I know I talked to a couple of them. And one of the feedbacks I got was how easy it is to go through the program, which is extremely important. Uh, having you know, invested and done many programs myself, uh, that makes a big difference for how much you implement, how much you learn, how eager you are to put it into play. And that was one of the most important things I got from people who have done your program is how easy it is. You really show them step by step, in short videos. It's not super, it's not super time, time. It's not very hard to do. That's what I appreciate, I appreciate it here from some of your uh, doctors who are going through your program that I've reached out to. Yeah, this is super simple. I mean, I, I make it click by click for for doctors, and that's uh, hopefully everyone can see this. Can, can everyone see the screen? Okay, can you see that, Josh? I see uh, BJ. I don't know who's standing up at the mic though. <laughs> I don't know who's standing at the mic either, <laughs> but that's that's not me. But it's BJ, and yeah, I mean, if you think about this, it's not really an original idea. I mean, BJ back in the day actually used radio to broadcast the chiropractic message. And if Bri BJ was around today, he would be podcasting. I guarantee it. He would be also using video to harness, like to, to up his SEO to get the message out there for chiropractic. And I'm just challenging doctors to do the same. You know, if we look at iTunes, this is really iTunes, the top of new and noteworthy. And this is where doctors are getting situated. So I took a screen capture of new and noteworthy podcasts on iTunes. Again, that's 700 million listeners. Look at this. We got Sig Talk. So um, Dr. Kerry Sigafus, he is a graduate of TCP podcast training. Top of iTunes, alternative health and health. You know, health hero, Dr. Joe Criscola, top of iTunes. I just saw that Dr. Jason Jones put another amazing podcast episode out today, interviewing another expert in his community and funneling people back to his website to listen to his podcast. See, that's the magic. And he's at the top of iTunes. And you know, we got. Each of these five are people that have gone through your program, right? Everyone who's circled has gone through my program. Okay, yeah. and they're all chiropractors and they're all from different areas, right? Exactly, but I mean, we have other people who are graduating now too, like um, Dr. Tabor Smith, who actually created a podcast for Genesis Chiropractic Software. I just got an amazing testimonial from Dr. Bob Hoffman. He says, you're, he, he says it's revolutionized how he's actually um, marketed uh, audio and marketing his uh his coaching and consulting program. So it's, he says it's, it's really just, it's a no brainer. Yeah, yeah. We should all as chiropractors be doing this. You know, when you first came out with the idea, one of the things that popped into my head, besides from all the obvious benefits you're talking about of people in the community, being able to find you easier, establish yourself as the authority, credibility, all of that, obviously super important, the main facts. But you know, one, one of the things I teach doctors is connect, you know, marketing smarter than harder and having other people endorse you having referral relationships in the community so what i the first thing that popped into my head and i'm sure is a side effect of this is if you're doing a podcast and you're interviewing other credible authoritative let's say healthcare figures in your community that's going to establish a connection and a bond because you're getting them exposure and then it's there's going to be reciprocation there they're going to see you in a new light they're going to want to know about what you do, what you do in your office, and that's going to be a potential referral stream from people you go to give more exposure in your community and enlighten your community about. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be correct? Absolutely, Josh. It's called strategic marketing. I know that you supported TCP Podcast from the very beginning and you saw the big vision, but honestly, the reason I connected with you to interview you was because of exactly the same reason. I wanted to position my picture next to yours so I could establish my authority just based on, you know, the aesthetics. So I, people would see me next to you, even though you took, you know, you had all those years of building your expertise and authority and it upped mine very quickly. And actually under three months, I established authority. And that's what I want doctors to do as well. You know, every time I put a podcast out, like with someone like John Gray, you know, Mars Venus, I mean, that ups my authority. Um, these are podcasts here on the screen share of imagine, I want doctors listening and viewing right now. 
sit back and imagine your unique podcast on iTunes. Like, look at all these podcast uh, podcasters that are graduating from my program. They're all very different, and that's the beauty of it. And why doctors get so excited, Josh, is because there's no scripts. There's nothing. It's it's all about um, your unique message. It's it's just that it, the the creative aspect gets the juices flowing for docs, and that's really where the where the fun is too. And I'm going to take everyone here into our private Facebook page, which all of our members are on, and I'll show you some of the posts even from today in the conversations and how we actually do this. And we have a five step formula, by the way, in our program um, with TCB Podcast as to how to get to the top of iTunes. And uh, I'll give you one of those right now, Josh. It's actually aesthetic. Did you know that um, they place at the top of iTunes based on what your art podcast artwork looks like? Really? Like these hover images? Yep. So they'll actually look at it if it looks good, and then they'll see you know how many reviews, how many ratings you might have, and then they'll place you at the top or in a different area within, like closer to the top. So that's one of the things, like, I mean, I've seen some pretty bad artwork, yeah. and this is all part of the process, is really just to make sure that our doctors are having a very professional, something that's unique, something that resonates with their specific ideal a patient or we call it an avatar that they retract to their to their office. And the beauty of this, Josh, is that it's evergreen. Once you put your podcast out there, you don't have to go and do it again. You don't have to go and teach that again. So you could put anything that you want onto your podcast. It's an audio. You could text it to patients. You could mail, email it to them. You could have them listen to it in your office. I mean, they can listen to it in their car on the way to work. I and mean, then that's they could, share, they could share it with other people. If this is the doctor I'm going to. Yeah, that's the cool thing. You know, 60% of people listening to podcasts are doing it on their mobile. Mm -hmm. And I mean, let's face it, people aren't watching YouTube videos on their mobile while driving to work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you and you can actually with the click of a button, text your podcast or your patient can text it and go, hey, check out what my chiropractor is doing, or I know this could really help you and text it to someone else. We know the text rate. I mean, everyone here listening who has it receives text, text rates, I think it's like 96% of te uh, text people open. So as soon as you open it, they start listening. Mm. Now for, actually, I'll, I'll let you keep going, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I, I can show some of the demographics or some of the statistics, yeah. and I won't get really into the nitty gritty of it for people, because I think if we look at, you know, podcasts, and I get this all the time, even, you know, today, I mean, people are like, what is a podcast? Just like you asked me, and they don't really understand that the a podcast is really just an audio file that you've produced, then you put on put out there for people to download or to listen to, and they can subscribe to it. Now, that's the power of podcasting is the subscription. So when someone subscribes to your to your podcast, it means that as soon as you make another podcast and you upload it to iTunes, it automatically will download onto their mobile or desktop. Okay. So they get it right away. About one in four people don't don't, uh, or I should say only one in four people know what a podcast is, by the way. And some people or some docs might be listening to this and going, well, that's pretty low. But actually, if you think about it, that means that there's an amazing potential of growth. Because even even if you look at podcasters, these are our ideal patients, by the way, podcaster or podcast consumers uh, make an average of 75k US per year. And they also when they looked at, you know, when they go to buy something, they tend to buy from the people that they're listening to. So they do buy from like whatever podcaster or broadcast they're listening to. Hmm. And actually even podcasts, yeah, it's, it's actually going to be surpassing uh, radio in terms of listenership. And this is exactly why I started podcasting because I knew it was the fastest way to get my message out there to as many chiropractors, you know, worldwide to 143 different countries worldwide. Cool. Now, for docs that are interested in doing this, what what are the other things they're going to have to factor into? Like, what kind of equipment do they need? What kind of time you know does it take to do to a podcast? All those little questions. Sure thing. So, I'm going to go first to what you need. Okay. I'm going to kind of go back and forth a little bit here because I've taught this so many times, and I want to kind of make sure that these are the things that I find that doctors are following up with me and asking the most questions. They go, "What is the initial investment?" So here's, here's all you need, doc. You need a microphone. 
I'm using a $40 microphone right now and it, and I've actually bought a $350 microphone and I put it back in the box. <laughs> I like this mic. It's 40 bucks. It's called an Audio Technica ATR 2100. You can buy it off Amazon. I've seen it for 40. I've seen it for 90. Um, you know, you, I've even had uh, doctors who buy this blue, uh, uh, this, it's called a Yeti, but they eventually they go back and actually buy the cheaper one, the more less expensive. So that's a really, you know, that's really a small investment. Headphones, 20 bucks on I, on uh, Amazon. I mean, I have earbuds on that I use at the gym too, even while we're speaking right now. So not a huge investment again. You do need a pop filter. So a pop filter is really just something that makes sure that the wind sound is cut down, Josh. So any of the P's, any of the flips or, or the flops or clicks, it'll cut down on that. I do recommend that you have a stand of some sort. And that just means that the microphone is actually close, fairly close to your to your mouth. And uh, you don't have to hand hold it. You can actually use your hands to do things. I mean, these are kind of things that you can invest in. Fifteen dollars for a, a you know um, like one of the filters, the stands. You know, they're looking at you know thirty bucks. Again, not a huge investment when you're looking right. at. You can actually just keep churning out your podcast week after week. When it comes to to recording or editing, and I can even show you how easy it is to record um, today if we, if we have time, or maybe I'll just show you one of our videos on our podcast training program. GarageBand is for recording and for editing your audio, and it's free, it comes on a Mac. Now the other would be PC, and it's called Audacity, and that is free as well, but it could be used on um, Mac or PC. And I have full tutorials on how to use these, uh, both click by click, step by step in my program. But you know what? You could probably self-learn. Really, my program is about two things. Saving you time, showing you how to market your podcast once it's up, making sure you get to the top of iTunes as well. Yeah, and just, definitely show us whatever you can inside the program. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you one more thing that actually comes back to the, you know, what is a podcast and how does it work? And it, this is a great slide for that. So Josh, like basically what happens is you have your podcast, which you create, which is like just a, an audio file. So something you listen to, we put it onto Libsyn. Now a Libsyn account is like where you, where you would like store your audio files. It's an offsite storage okay. and it's $15 a month. So as soon as I upload the chiropractic philanthropist to Libsyn, it automatically will download on, or be uploaded as well to, to iTunes, to SoundCloud and to Stitcher radio. Stitcher Radio is the one their manufacturers are installing in vehicles this year. So you can imagine that, right? I mean, again, you know, people who are viewing or listening to this, you know, imagine that, that people are listening to your, to your voice on the way to work or on the way home or driving the kids to school. It's pretty powerful stuff. And then even from there, you can share it via Facebook. You can set these up automatically, by the way. You can text message, you can tweet, you know, put it through Twitter. You can even put it on YouTube, put it on your website. There's so many, there's so many angles to how you can use these audios to, um, to really, again, just get your, your message out there. Did you want to take a look at the program then, Josh? Totally. Yeah. Let's, let's show, you know, I'd like to see, I haven't been inside and show everyone that's watching as much as possible. Absolutely. So I'm just going to go away from the screen share for one sec. You're going to see me. I'm back. All right. And let's see. We're going to, and you tell me, um, I'll just need one sec. Here we go. All right, can, can you see that? Whoops. I did. Oh, I see the Facebook group now. Yeah. Well, we're there. Why don't we take a look at it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Power 10 Facebook group. It's a closed group. And you can see actually Dr. Tarlow that's actually posted some, and asking for some advice this morning, so three hours ago. And this is the, this is the power of our group, our movement. Um, we have 88 members currently in the group, but those, some people just aren't on Facebook. So we do have right. more than 90 doctors on the program. But you can see we've all given our feedback. We've all you know helped that doctor along. Here's the beauty too, is that once you launch your podcast and you put it out there, we all go listen, we all share, 90 doctors are sharing your podcast, they're subscribing, and they're also um, going to be rating and reviewing your podcast. So that's the real power of this community and this movement. I can't even believe, Josh, sometimes that I, I have so many members on the program 
and it's been such a little time. It's only been about four months that we've been out there. Yeah, it's really impressive. I mean, here's Dr. Jor um, Jordan Bowen. Bowen, excuse me. And what he's done is he's he's just put up two different versions of his artwork. And then what we've done is we've all gone and given some feedback as to you know what we think would be the most effective. So, tips, strategies. Um, you know, here's Dr. Hoffman. Um, he here's his testimonial. You know, Dr. Ed's podcast training program completely changed the way we deliver information to our followers. He, so they, I think they have a weekly, if not bi-weekly podcast that comes out now. And I think that on their first podcast, they told me that they put out their number one, they had over a hundred downloads on the first day. Wow. Yeah. Pretty incredible. I mean, he's, you know, he says the investment will pay off multiple times over as it has for them already. And they've only been up and running for about three weeks. So lots and lots of great information here again. And that's the value of it. It's really a community. I had a doc join on just last week and she's like, I feel like I'm in a family already. And we are, we're just really a family of chiro of podcasting uh, chiropractors, you could say. Maybe we're a little bit geeky, Josh, I don't know. And, and I liked uh, what you mentioned about everyone uh, reviewing each other's because I'm sure that makes a difference with the iTunes statistics and rankings and to have, you know, 50, 70 reviews the day after it comes out, I mean, I'm sure it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, I would never disparage anyone else who does, does this alone because it's hard, it's hard to go it alone. I did it alone. And you do need to have those ratings. You do need to have those reviews to get to the top. And uh, that's, that's part of the beauty of this is that we, you know, even some people who aren't on my training, I will share with my community and, uh, when they come out with their own podcasts. I will share because I know the challenges that they have. But it's so much easier when you have the support of a group um, because there's, there's time, it's, there's going to be some things that come up that are just a, a bit of a challenge. I mean, I even when I was in Hawaii for a week, you know, I spent a good half hour hour on the on the computer with a doc trying to get them approved through iTunes, and we eventually got it all fixed. So it, there are some tech things that do come up, and the support is there. It's lifetime access. Cool. Here's our TCP Academy, Josh. So you haven't seen this? No. Okay. Well, let's take a look. So basically, when you go into TCP Podcast, hopefully you can see this. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all clear. Perfect. And there's a uh, <clears throat> a screen. Uh, there's actually a walkthrough first. So we just kind of show you what the program looks like. Um, the first module of the program, we actually take you through all of the creative process. Now, one of the key things here, and again, we give you the equipment checklist. But honestly, if anyone's out there right now and they want to get the equipment checklist, I'll I'll email you a copy of it. But I give you all my forms, my emails, and agreements. I get this question all the time, Josh. People go to me, how do you get number New York Times bestsellers and, and guests like you do onto your podcast? Well, if you want that, you got to be, I'm sorry, you got to be part of my group. I will give you the emails and the forms because I have had it where I've sent out invitations and no response. And then I, I tweak them and I get responses. So I know what works and what doesn't. That's, uh, that's a huge benefit because that's, that'll make or break the interviews, of course. Absolutely. I mean, and again, I mean, even for you, I mean, it was, it was like, okay, I, I had to really kind of consider when I had you as a guest, you know, what is it? How can I, how can I show you value to come onto my podcast? Because at that time, Josh, I had no downloads. I had no community. I had nothing to show you as a result. So I give you the, you know, the basics as to how, how you can get good quality guests onto your podcast. And one of the main things too, that we love to talk about in creative process is we call it defining your avatar. So you can see in the first module of creative, we actually have um, nine videos and they're all very, very simple, very uh, just like click by click. But when we call it defining your avatar, it's like in podcasting, we talk, we call it speaking to one, but speaking to many. So it's actually going through the process of going, this is who I'm talking to. And it's not unlike, you know, with chiropractors. And I think you talk about this too, is who is your ideal patient? And it's really, you know, with podcasting, who is your ideal listener? And you talk to that one specific person and you engage and you connect with them. And that's the beauty of podcasting is it's, you get that unique connection through your voice that you don't get through a picture, you don't get through a blog or through text. It's actually, I think, it, I think studies say it's 60 times more powerful than a website. Wow. 
And then the tech, yeah, there's over 30, there's three to three videos on tech. And the reason there's 33 is because you can actually see GarageBand keeps updating things. So <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So every time they do an update, I go through and I actually do the trainings to make it simple for you, just in case there's a little bit of a blip there. But we go through pretty much everything. You won't need all of these videos. You would only need some of these videos, by the way. So for example, there's there's videos in here on editing software that you may never use. But it gives you all the basics. It's all click by click, and it's really, really simple. Yeah, and, and I know from talking to docs, if, if all these videos seem overwhelming, that the videos are very short, uh, what I've been told, and it's very easy to go through. Yeah, I'm kind of like a no a no BS guy, Josh. Like I don't, I, time, time is uh, of essence for me. <laughs> so I just like to get, get the information and I know docs are time starved too, and they just want the information and that's it. And then, you know, we, we cover business and marketing. So how do we, how do you get guests? How do you get, um, how do you schedule them? Uh, how do you record interviews? How do you market more importantly? How do you get the, you know, build your listenership? And then if some people want sponsors, how do you get sponsors? I mean, I was, I was, our, my site was monetized or my podcast was monetized after two weeks I, after I launched. Mm. But I mean, I, honestly, that's not, most, most docs are more concerned about having new people come into their office, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you know, for the docs that want to jump in, how much time should they expect in terms of recording, publishing, getting it started, all, you know, those basic initial questions? I had one doctor. Uh, was up and launched in six days. Cool. I've had other doctors who, uh, you know, they're going through the process and it's like eight weeks later. That's the beauty of this. It's lifetime access, Josh. Take your time. Yeah. There's no rush. Do it right. You know, and, but some, some docs are so excited and they get up, they get, re, re, you know, they, I would say the average is about three, four weeks. But um, yeah, it, it really, it depends on on how much time you want to put into it. But the thing is that once you once you go through the time of setting everything up, then it's real. Like I mean, uh, most docs that are already launched now, it takes them less than a half hour to to uh, get a, a new episode out there. Okay, nice. So yeah, it's like you put in some front end work and then it's streamlined for everything you're doing going forward. Yeah. From Pretty much like all marketing, isn't it? I mean, like except this one's you know again very. Uh, uh, a little bit more innovative, you could say. I'm just going to go back to one other. Okay. So that should be back to the slides. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. I just want to go back to one other thing. Is, and that's about gr growing your community. You know, Josh, because I find that a lot of doctors are, are you know, ha don't have a ton of people on their Facebook pages. They don't have a ton of people that are really just following them socially. So that's the beauty of podcasting too, is you do have that evergreen, um, you know, content that you can keep well, putting out there on social media to help build your following. Wait, Dr. So, just, just explain what evergreen means. I think a lot of, oh, a lot of doctors might know that. So here's what I used to do. I used to go to a radio show, pay $1,200 a month, so I could have a half hour, time, half hour slot on an AM radio station to, to be interviewed. Okay, I used to, that was, I don't know, maybe some docs resonate with that. Um, and then it's gone. I mean, you have a half hour, you got your time, and then it's gone. So with a podcast is, basically you record that interview. Now it's actually a recorded document. It's recorded, it's put out there and anyone can access it at any time. And maybe this is a good time to maybe talk about SEO, Josh. Sure. So search engine optimization for anyone who's a listener. And let me give you another, I'm gonna to go to another screen share, sort of be bouncing back and forth here, but I think this is really important. And um, let's see here. I think you're gonna like this, Josh. This will be interesting. <laughs> Okay, so it should show my Google. It does. Okay, so let's put, so I'm just gonna enter in Ryan J. Cox. He was on my podcast last Wednesday, okay? okay. He's from chiropraise.com. And so page one of Google, chiropractic philanthropist. Okay, so my, my site actually shows up. 
Over his. Interesting. O over his. <laughs> That's the, isn't that cool? Ryan J. Cox. So the, here's the here's the interview flow that I had actually sent him. So this is these were the questions that I had created for him. Um, here's the podcast itself. Here's the, my iTunes listing for him. Here's my Facebook page. So now here's Josh, or sorry, here's Ryan. Yeah. And now, and now again, now we have actually, so look at this doctors who are watching at player player.fm, which is actually, they pick up your own podcasts that are very popular and then they'll actually replay them for no, for no charge on another platform. So they've actually picked up that and they're playing it and spreading my, my audio. Isn't that cool? So it's been, yeah, it's actually been picked up. Like the majority of the links are coming back to your podcast. Exactly. Exactly. So we get um, on the chiropractic philanthropist website alone, we get over 4,500 doctors visiting my site each month. Wow. And those, yeah, those are unique visits. But here's the thing too, is that imagine that's your website, chiropractor, who's watching and listening this. And so what you're doing is you're funneling those people back. And I also want you to observe too, I didn't Google me. I Googled Ryan. Your potential new patient, Google someone in your local area, not you, but they show up with your podcast. Now they're now they're going to actually click on it and funnel into your website, and they're going to spend time on your website checking you out. That's the interesting thing about podcasting too: is they're going to listen to your podcast on your website, and they're also going to you know look around your website while they're listening as well. So especially if you are podcasting with people that may some you know prospective patient may be searching for them for an issue or condition, and you come up, uh, that's a great. That's a great marketing strategy as well. Yeah, I always use, like I'm a big CrossFit fan. So you could put, so imagine someone in that area searches, you know, my town is called, well, let's say it's Edmonton. So they put in CrossFit Edmonton and you've interviewed the owner of CrossFit Edmonton. That means that, that your podcast will show up. That means that they click on your podcast. Now they funnel over to your website. Now they're looking through your website. So that's the power of the, of the search engine optimization. Because I had a chiropractor I know who was paying $1,200 a month or maybe, maybe more, $1,500 a month to Google just so he could show up on page one of Google. Okay, you, you don't have to do that. I'm not saying that this will work every time, but the more consistent and the more persistent you are with your interviews and your content, the more likely you will be to show up on page one of Google. Very, very powerful podcast. It's called an RSS feed, Josh. So very, very powerful for showing up on Google. Yeah, well, let's put it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's face it, Josh. I mean, would you want to be on page one or page three? Top of page one. <laughs> every time. Yeah. Every time. So yeah, I mean, we've we've got a huge listenership. You know, part of my story of just, you know, why I started podcasting and maybe everyone has a story that's listening to this is, you know, I couldn't practice at the same intensity that I had in the past. This was my solution. I wanted to give some value, some, uh, you know, back to chiropractors. I wanted to give them as much tools to funnel people into their office as possible. Nice. And I like it. You know, I, you know what I do and I share with chiropractors and I love seeing new stuff that's out there that's 2015 going forward applicable, not recycled, uh, you know, marketing stuff, holding the spine on the side of the street, uh, you know, look from 20 years ago. So that's, you know, that's why I support and endorse what you're doing and sharing this. Uh, and I want to hear, you, you had mentioned a bunch of uh, docs in the program, what they're saying about it. I'd love to hear from them. Uh, Absolutely. Maybe it's a testimonials page, maybe it's whatever you wanted to share. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to, I'm going to bring up that page, but I'm also going to show doctors how they can bring up the page and follow us with it. If, okay. So I'm going to low, I'm going to actually, there's, there should be a little box that says join the movement TCP podcast training on the right hand side. There's a little yellow box that says add to cart. So you can actually click on that. It doesn't mean you're going to buy the program doc. It just means you're going to go over to the same page that I'm going to share with you in a moment. Okay. And at the bottom, then it'll show you different options so you can get enrolled. Here's the thing with this program, I'm going to shut the door after these three days. Okay. I've been promoting a lot and I can only support so many doctors. I'm only one guy, Josh. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to close the door, get more docs up and running and, and launched. And then once I've done that, then I'll open the door to the training again. But for the time being after the, I think we're going to do a 48 hour or maybe 72 hour replay on this. After that, we're going to shut it down for a bit. Got it. So it's time sensitive for a doc who wants to get in. Yes. Yes. 
And, and I, again, I just want to make sure that I'm being respectful of all the docs that I'm supporting. Like I said, you know, there's lots of docs out there in different stages of production. So we want to make sure that they're all supported. Yeah. And I know I get the feeling that you are available for them with whatever they need. Yes, unfortunately for my my wife, that's true, and uh, she it drives her nuts that I I always respond to emails within, um, oh, just like a, a crazy, like maybe an hour, two hours. I mean, I've been up up at night uh, texting back and forth ideas with. Doc I get really juiced on this, like texting back and forth with doctors on ideas that they have. Because this is, uh, yeah, this is a passion for me, just like it is for you. I know that you're always so supportive of your, uh, of everyone in your program. I'm just looking for that. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So how's that? Can you see the TP TCP podcast training site then? I can. Great. Okay. So there's a short video here. Josh, I was, I actually interviewed Janet Switzer. Do you know who Janet Switzer is? Do you, are you familiar with her? Uh, the name is ringing a bell, but I, I don't know her now. She, she was the strategic marketer for Jack Canfield and uh -huh. Mark Victor Hansen. So she was the one who actually helped him sell 500 million copies of Chicken Soup for the Chiropractor, or for the Soul. Right. So when you get someone like that on the phone or on, a, on, a, on an interview, at, when you're done, you ask them questions if you can. So I asked her, I told her about my program, and I said, what do you think? And she goes, it's not scalable. You're not charging enough. So here's the thing. The program, the membership will be increasing very soon. And we're actually considering Josh going into a recurring membership, meaning like each year, it'll just be a recurring fee to remain in the program. Okay. So, so this, this is like a, yeah, a really great deal at this time to get into the program if you want to get on board. Because some docs are going, well, this is interesting, but I, I'm not ready yet. Well, don't wait, because when you do come back, you might notice that the program is more expensive. Okay. So creative tech and the, and the business of marketing, it's lifetime access. We give you everything you need to get and all the support you need to get up there and launched. Here's Dr. Ryan French. Dr. French is probably one of the most successful chiropractors in Canada. And he said, you know, when he came on the program that, you know, he, basically, you know, I've taken the material and turned it into an easy play by play description to get you in the game as fast as you want to. So, I give you everything you need to get up to be launched. He's he's a big fan of TCP podcast training. And I think he referred probably Josh about seven doctors. Cool. Hold on one sec. Where is that coming from? I Hold on one sec, Josh. <laughs> Do you hear? I, I don't hear anything playing. It, oh, really? Yeah. I have something playing in my ear. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay. So yeah, for everyone listening, it's obvious um, positioning yourself as an authority, positioning yourself, healthcare credibility, showing up top of Google, even when people aren't searching for you directly or necessarily chiropractic. That's something I didn't know before this interview. Whoever you interview in your community, when someone searches for them, you'll show up. So really think about the power of that, especially if it's someone that someone's searching for that you take care of a similar condition. I mean, just think about that. Not to say you're undercutting them, but in essence, I mean, you're getting exposure where you otherwise wouldn't have and probably couldn't even pay for it. So I really like that aspect and the fact that if you're uh, interviewing and giving exposure to certain doctors in your area, let's say doctors you wouldn't feel are competition, they're going to start looking at you as, again, an authority, as a leader, and what do you do and how do you help people? And for those patients that they don't feel it's competition or they can co-manage, you're going to be now be a referral source for them because you promoted them to the community and you put them on a stage and it's just the law of reciprocity. People are going to want to return the favor. Yeah, absolutely. And, and thank you for filling in for me there for a second too, Josh, because they, I mean, something was playing in my ear. I had to figure it out, but I got it and I'm learning from podcasts. This stuff happens all the time. 
but yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Is it, it's it's really about just again building your your expertise, building your authority, because the biggest problem most doctors have is their is obscurity. I call it so. People don't know who you are. And, and again, I've been in St. Albert. I've been in a town of 70,000 practicing for 13 years. And I still run into people. They go, oh, you're a chiropractor. Where are you located? And I thought I dominate the market here. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, and so, and the other thing is that people don't understand what we do as chiropractors. And podcasting solves the, both of those problems. I don't know if anyone's been listening to podcasts lately, but if you've listened to um, Dr. Kerry Sigafus, He's the most amazing individual I've ever met. And mm -hmm. he has come up. I remember, again, like I said, Josh, I was actually at night texting back and forth with him the idea for Sig, Sig Talks um, podcasts. And I, I swear that podcast, I've heard so much great feedback, but it's changed a lot of chiropractors the way they practice, but also given them a lot of passion back and, and their philosophy back too. Can you see the screen okay too, the screen share? Yeah, I see the... Right quote from Dr. Hudak, I launched my podcast in less than 10 days. Beautiful. And that is Dr. Hudak. He's crushing it in, New, Z in, in uh, New Jersey. Like he said, he's got over 300 downloads already. Imagine that, Doc. That you, you know, when was the last time you sat there and or you actually went and spoke to 300 people in a room? And here's, here's the thing. Even if you're getting 50 to 75 listens on your podcast daily, that's 50 or 75 people that wouldn't have heard your voice or your message in the past. You don't have to pack up everything and go and do a corporate workshop or lecture. You don't have to go and spend your whole weekend screening people, you know, and hopefully scheduling them and then hoping that they're going to show up the next day too. Hmm. Dr. Jason Jones, man, his podcast is so good. It's so good. He says this training is a 10 out of 10. You know, Dr. Tabor uh, Smith, uh, he's also uh, launched a podcast through our training program. Um, and that is actually for chiropractic uh uh, Genesis chiropractic software and yeah, he's he says that this this program has just been amazing for him He says, you know, stop procrastinating get the TCP podcast training today <laughs> All right, so yeah again top of iTunes So here's a couple bonuses that I'm gonna throw in for people that are actually jumping on the program then Josh One is actually really just my common sense ROF and my common sense ROF Josh is really just all it is is just what I used or the system or strategy I used to help doctors actually um, on day one and day two with their with their patients. Cool. Now, what I stress on this and the reason I call it common sense is it's really just about connection and it's also about using their own words. So there's, I will supply scripts if they want, but honestly, I encourage them to really just listen. And I mean, it's it's included. It's a two ninety seven value, and I know that it's completely congruent with your philosophy and what you teach in perfect patient funnel system too, which is about connection cool. and um, also about having solid systems. Uh, then I also include another bonus too, because doctors always ask me this too. They say, Dr. Ed, you are all over Facebook and you're a Facebook expert too, Dr. Josh. And do, yeah, I get this all the time. They're like, how do you create ads? I and mean, more importantly, how do you create ads on Facebook that work, that convert? So I give you my entire program. It's seven videos and it more, more so what I want you to learn is how to actually get raving fans onto your Facebook page for very, very little investment. Other, other thing that I'm throwing in for any doctors who jump on board and get, if you look on the right hand side, you should see a little box there, doc, you can actually click the add to cart and go to the screen and there'll be a, a, a purchase button at the bottom. So, I'm going to throw in what's called a podcast bumper. And Josh, what that means is I actually go through and I will do a, I call it pimp the doctor. <laughs> so <laughs> what I do is I actually go through and I will tell doc, I will describe their podcast. I will, you know, introduce myself as Dr. Ed Osborne, the chiropractic philanthropist. And I, I, I basically give them a shout out and it's about 15 seconds of produced audio that people use as a transition or segue within their own podcast that they create. And it creates a huge value because now you're taking my listeners who I've already built a following and you're having them come and listen to your podcast too. And it builds your authority by having my voice next to yours. Cool. And that's all included when someone gets in the program. When they do. Yeah. In the next, next day. Yeah. Next okay. day or so. Yeah. So normally the program is actually, um, 999 for a one-time investment. And for this webinar, for your followers, Josh, what I've done is I've dropped it down to 725 for the webinar price. Okay. Yeah, and that's oh, and it's a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee, okay? I mean, last webinar I did, everyone was ecstatic with the program. Everyone was 
completely happy with it. And they couldn't believe the amount of content that was there and the support. So 725 gets you in the program. The doors are going to close in about 48 to 72 hours. There is a two payment option as well, which you can do. It's 425 and it's just basically two installments of 425. The other option is there's three installments, which is 325 each. And so you get basically everything you need to get started. And as soon as you get in, we will join, uh, get you joined in uh, also on the Facebook community. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll even get on, the, on a Skype call with you if we need to. I will do anything, by the way, I need to, to make sure that you are up and running and completely successful. And so the guys, for the docs that are maybe listening to this uh, it, it, as a recording within the next 24, 48 hours, do they still, can they see the button or can they see how to get to that site? I'm going to, I know that there's been some flops throughout the, the webinar, but I'm going to keep this real. I'm going to keep it a completely exactly the same as this webinar that we're doing today. Okay. And that means that the, that little button over at the side that says add to cart to join the movement, you go ahead and click that and you actually jump on board the podcast train with the rest of us. So the other 90 doctors. All right, great. So it's just as easy for them if they're watching it in a few hours from now. Yep. Yep. They'll all, okay. they'll all have that button right there. And uh, I mean, honestly, I know, there's I know how frustrating it is to want something and then not how to get it, not know how to get it. <laughs> well, you know, you know how tech goes, Josh. I mean, hopefully the button is there. And if not, don't worry. Um, go over to head over to the chiropractic I have a contact page. Even if you have just questions, head over to the chiropractic in the contact page and send me an email. I'm happy to help you. I had a doctor that, you know, probably for about six weeks, he was trying to get his own podcast up. Just, you know, through through um, like YouTube videos, he was trying to train himself and everything. I've had students, same thing. I'm happy to help. The only, I mean, there's just, there's certain advantages to being in the program. We can get you up, you know, there's a lot of synchronicity that needs to happen to make sure that we get you to the top of iTunes. But again, if, I, if I'm being really honest, I oh, mean, yeah. I, I- It's a no brainer. I think so, but I mean, it's, but Josh, I'm, I get so frustrated that we're only serving 5% of the, the population. And I, I don't want to go off here because I will. <laughs> but this is, this is ridiculous. You know, we have things that are so innovative like podcasting that don't really, they're not a huge time suck. And I mean, I've done everything. I've taken all of the, the work, the hard, I've done all the hard stuff. And you can get your message out there. You can grow your practice. You can be the authority and we can stop being, you know, marginalized and be mainstream as chiropractors. Instead of serving 5%, we'll be serving 50% of the population. We'll be the go-to versus, you know, the MDs. And, you know, this is, this is what we've been looking for. You know, I, I had an email from a doc, you know, in Australia the other day, you know, that's, and one from Amsterdam just jumped on our program. So we're not talking about just doctors who are in, you know, North America. We're talking about a worldwide movement. And this yeah, is what really gets me excited. I, iTunes, Google, it's the same in Australia as in England, as, in, as here. And, you know, I have lots of doctors all over the world using that. We'll be watching this and are using PPFS strategies. And it makes, you know, it's communication, it's technology. Uh, humans are humans, whether they are in Australia, if they hear you, that's authority, that's credibility, that's attraction, you know, it's gonna do better. So obviously if you're, if you're watching this, you realize the benefit, don't try to do it on your own. You're just gonna probably end up spending a lot more time, which will cost a lot more than the one-time investment into the podcast training. So it really is a no-brainer. And, and here's the other thing too, Josh, is that I often hear this, and I've done this myself, because I measure ROI, so return on investment. I'm just, you know, I'm a pragmatic guy. And what I've learned with podcasting and with marketing today is it's really difficult to measure ROI when you're doing everything. So in my, in my town, you know, I'll have someone who comes in and we go, well, how did you hear about the office? And they, well, you know, I, I, I read an article in the paper. I saw you on the web, on your website. I watched a few of your videos on YouTube. I listened to your podcast. So you, it's really difficult to measure or just to put your finger on one thing. Now it's, it's, you need to be in every, every space to, to have total market domination. And certainly podcasting would be the number one first spot to start. Excellent. Well, hey, I, like, I love what you're doing. I like what you're sharing. Any, anything else you want to make sure the, the viewers and listeners uh, remember or know? Or... No, just, just that I'm here. 
you know, I'm I'm here. I'm ready to answer any questions. I, uh, you know, I'm ready to, you know, you get. I, I would prefer that you you get excited and you jump on board and get launched right away. But if you have questions, if you have any anything at all that you want to shoot my way, then you know anything that I didn't cover today because we are so you know crunched for time. And I know you're busy, Josh. Yeah. Then you know, yeah, just connect with me. Connect with connect with. Jo I'll give I'll give you a shout out. I mean, your program has been tr simply amazing. We did a webinar back. Uh, back probably almost about eight or nine months ago. And uh, so not unlike that, innovative, you know, online training, just like what we're pre presenting here too, which is click by click, but also video training. And that's the best thing is, you know, I can be in my basement and learn and I don't have to fly halfway across the country. And not only learn, but once you're doing it, you can be building your practice from your basement. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. So before we, we'll just maybe kind of wrap things up then. And so anyone who's who's listening or, or viewing, <laughs> go over to the side. You could click on that uh, button as well. Go to the add to cart button. It'll take you to that page that we had. And there's a couple of videos on there too, so you can listen to Dr. Carey. He he almost um, he he was he gave such a heartfelt. Um, share and there's a, another video on the entire program there too and then go ahead contact me if you have any questions cool doctor thanks so much for taking your time and walking all the listeners watchers through this thanks for what you've produced not just for helping chiropractors grow their practice but also getting more of the public aware of what chiropractic is and how it can help um, so I thank you for being a pioneer in that respect my pleasure awesome thanks Josh have a great rest of the day